Hi, this is Sarah. Let's read a book. Mrs. Pinochle's Flower Alphabet. Art by Jesse Ford. A is for Aster, which blooms in autumn. Their little yellow faces and purple petals shine like stars. B is for Bird of Paradise. These orange beauties grow in tropical places and look like they're trying to fly. C is for Carnation, a rather common flower that smells like spice. Spice is nice! D is for Dahlia. What a fabulous flower, darling! Tiny or giant, it's beautiful in every size. E is for Echinacea. Birds, bees, and butterflies love to drink its nectar. It can be many different colors. F is for Fairy Wings. They grow wild in the woods and prefer to live near waterfalls. Such happy little things. G is for geranium, the perfect flower to plant in a pot. They come in all colors and sizes. H is for hydrangea, hyacinth, and honeysuckle. Flowers that start with H make Mrs. Pinochle happy. I is for iris, which comes in a rainbow of colors. Some are tall, some are short, and some have beards. J is for jasmine, so beautiful and fragrant, they fill the night air with their sweet smell. K is for kangaroo paws, which grow where kangaroos live. Where is that? Australia! L is for lilac. When lilacs bloom and perfume the air, spring has sprung. Yay for spring! M is for milkweed. Mrs. Pinochle plants milkweed in her garden to feed hungry monarch caterpillars their favorite and only food. Chomp! N is for Narcissus, which is also called Daffodil. It's one of the first flowers of spring. O is for Orchid, of which there are 28,000 kinds. Some grow in trees, some look like bees, some grow on the forest floor. P is for peony. Oh, peony, Mrs. Pinochle loves its giant spring blossoms. Some can live to be 100 years old. Q is for Queen Anne's Lace, also known as Wild Carrot. It looks just like poison hemlock, so be sure not to eat it. R is for Rose. Some are tiny, some are big. Some climb high into the sky on houses or trees. All are wonderful. S is for Sunflower, so big and strong. Wherever they grow, their faces turn toward the sun. T is for tulip, which grows from a bulb. Plant it in the fall, and it will bloom in the spring. U is for Ursinia, a bright orange daisy from Africa. When it's dark or cloudy, their petals close up. V is for verbena, a very old flower that hummingbirds and butterflies love. Good thing it's easy to grow. W is for water lily. Growing in water, its leaves float on the surface and the flowers bloom on top. 
X is for Lonicera xylostium, which is also known as fly honeysuckle. Maybe because its tiny white flowers look like flies. Y is for yarrow. It has lots of funny names. Little feather, nosebleed plant, old man's pepper, seven years love, and woundwort. Z is for zinnia. Mrs. Pinochle's mom used to plant them and pick them for bouquets. Flowers are beautiful. Thanks for reading with me. Check out my other videos for more stories.